We just got the 45 footer uh, Skytrack delivered. This girl is gonna help us with the roof trusses tomorrow morning. Super exciting. See a big one too. We wanted to get a little bit of a smaller one, but this was the only one that they could do. And uh, same day delivery. And we got her for tomorrow. So super exciting. Praise the Lord. And yeah, she's a big one. All right, y'all, it's another good day and the house is getting built. Getting put up nice and quick. All the walls will most definitely be framed here this morning. And then we got the big old sky track, big old boy right there. And that's a 45 footer. We're gonna use him to get all the steel trusses put in place today. Then since we need our lumber here kind of ASAP, we're gonna have to drop off that 45 foot long gooseneck trailer over there. So long, you can't even see, you can't even see it. But it's right there, tucked behind the house there. We're gonna drop that back off at the rental place, pick up another one because I have to drop it off uh, this morning. And then we're gonna go to Home Depot and what what are we get, picking up from Home Depot? We're picking up the purlins for the roof and all the sheathing for the house and the roof. Yeah, so it's a beautiful morning out here. You can start to see a little bit of the sunlight coming through. It gets a little bit, it gets even prettier once the sun gets to about like there in the sky. It gets real pretty out here. But anyway, y'all, it's gonna be a beast of a house. Oh, yeah. The 10 foot walls, yeah. that's what's gonna set it apart. Like, and then when it's vaulted, yeah. it's gonna be crazy. Well, actually, I'm gonna leave that a secret, actually. I'll leave which, if we're gonna have the whole house vaulted or if we're gonna have parts of the house vaulted, I'm gonna keep that a secret, y'all, so gonna have to stay tuned and see which parts of the house we vault and which parts of the house we do flat ceilings but even the ones that we do do flat ceilings in it's gonna be nine to ten foot um, we do lo lose how many inches with the with the steel trusses James uh, we'll lose in the vaulted room not in the flat room so oh so in the flat it'll be ten foot still yeah oh okay okay super super cool All right, y'all, there's the load of lumber there that me and James just got done picking up. We got some two by six by 20s and the OSB. House is coming along. All of the walls, interior walls and exterior walls are all done. The boys are getting it all, they're getting it done. They got the first, got the first one up there. They already got the second one up there. As y'all can see, looking good. They're getting that next one on the sky track there. We're gonna use the sky track to actually unload all the lumber too. Everything's coming along, y'all. We just gotta keep on feeding them. Gotta keep on feeding them the materials. y'all a little bit of an update is the end of the day it's probably about six o'clock now and the house is coming along they got all of those steel trusses up these guys they know what they are doing look at all this lumber management right here we got them all ready to go tomorrow so I'm gonna, I'll give y'all the full tour once uh, they get a lot of this stuff, all the bracing and everything out of here cause it'll just, it'll make more sense. But <clears throat> this is one big open space right here. And uh, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this right here is just a gangplank that they put up and for some bracing and stuff like that. So they just, pew, they put that up there anyway. 
really exciting. The only thing that we need them to do that they just forgot to do was they forgot to put a window in this bedroom. They put one window there, but they forgot to put a window right there. So anyway, other than that, y'all, they've been doing a great job. I will show y'all this because this is really cool. Picture windows, they're going right there. So that's awesome. House tour, but as y'all can see, she is looking good. Looking good, son. And the Lord's good. And let me go show you what we got on the trailer here. Last load. Made this little nifty ramp here in about five seconds. So that was that was nice of them. Sky track. Didn't know that we were gonna need the sky track for other things like <laughs> you know, like a uh fork truck actually. So we picked up all this here. So that's awesome. Fourth load of the day, as y'all can see here. It is a load and a half. Got all the LP, got some different um, two by sixes, and got some two by eights. Some lap. Got some lap. Got some, then we got this, uh, got the, all the stuff for the uh, ship lap. So anyway, and we're gonna share with y'all more as the videos progress of the style we are going to be going with on this house. But I want to keep y'all, I want to keep y'all in suspense just a little bit, so then y'all will just keep on following on with the adventure. But it is looking gorgeous. Let me go get it from another angle now, y'all. This is what the front of the house looks like here. She's looking really, really good. So you can see over here. There's two big windows there. And then we got two like normal, some three by fives right there. And I think those are four by fives or four by fours, I forget. Pretty awesome. Now we got that big old front door. That's gonna be awesome. And it's gonna have two side lights on it. So that's great. And with a beautiful view. See how the light just comes in here, y'all, in the evening time? It just makes everything glow so beautifully. That's what I just love about this place back here. All the all the delivery people are like, you know, when they're delivering stuff or other people that are coming over here, they're like, man, this is a perfect spot to build a house. I'm like, yeah, I know. Really awesome. It is starting to take shape and it's going to be a doozy of a house. So pretty awesome. That's the update for now, y'all. See y'all later.